What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Gidan Show. <laughs> Today we're doing a story gaming, as per request. We're playing Overwatch, as you can tell. Austin, who's your character? Uh, I'm Anna right now because everybody picked who I wanted to pick. It's typically well, I, how it goes. I like support anyway, so. Right. So, let's get into it. Uh, I'll go first. My first story is uh, about a band that I recorded that was very terrible. And it wasn't your band. Are Don't you worry. Sure? Are you it sure wasn't it your wasn't band. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't your band. Uh, although, um, I'm sure I could talk about that talk for about a long time, Talk about the Elmo breakdown? Too. Yeah, right. <laughs> we should actually talk about that. <laughs> But anyways, this band, I don't remember their name, but um, it was a warm summer day. <laughs> it was actually a very hot summer day. It was like around July, um, probably 2012, 2013. Sure. Anyway, I had this band come over, and um, they were doing one song, and I was, I was asking them before they showed up. I was trying to get a feel for them, so I was like, what kind of music do you play? What do you do? You know, what uh -huh. kind of sound are you going for? And they're like, oh yeah, we, you know, we kind of sound like periphery. We're, we're really genty. We got some like, you know, some shreddy stuff and like we do screams and cleans and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, that's a pretty big <laughs> name. <laughs> right. That's a pretty big name to like, you know, live up to, but all right, all right, periphery, cool. So then I'm like, thinking about like how I'm gonna record them and stuff like that. So then they show up and they, they bring in this drum set that had just, like there were holes in the toms Jesus and then they God. were covered by duct tape. <laughs> yeah, not even kidding. Yes. And I was like, um, do you have any, like do you have new heads? I assumed, uh -huh. you know, that they are gonna, I don't know Switch why. Switch them out when they Switch got them there. Switch them out, yeah. yeah. But they're like, uh, no, we don't, we don't have anything. And I was like, well, you do realize that yeah, I was, I was just like, you do realize this is gonna sound terrible, right? Like, there's there's not much I can do to make this sound good unless I just like hand sample the recording after you lay down some shit take or something yeah. like that. And they're like, oh well, yeah, I guess you could just like do MIDI drums over it afterwards. There's just like, cause that's what I really want to do. Right. And so I was like, okay, whatever. Um, I mean, they were younger, but they were like mm. 17, probably 18. Um, old enough to know, you know, and I told him too beforehand, I was like, you need to make sure you got like some new guitar strings, make sure that you bring new heads and like all this shit. I asked him oh, what yeah, their gear sure. was. Oh, yeah. They're all like, oh yeah, for sure. Totally. So then the drum sets, that's fucked. So I'm like, okay, this is not going to be good anyway. So instantly my desire to make it sound great just went out the window. Mm -hmm. And then, so they all come in or whatever. And then I, I, I told them, let's do like a scratch track, yeah. you know, so we can get like a guitar to a click and stuff like that. And they're like, what What do you mean? A, a, What's a click? Wh like, what do you mean a click? And I was like, I'm like a metronome. Like, so you can record the guitars to the metronome. Then your drummer can record his drums to those guitars to the metronome, right? Yeah. Especially with MIDI drums, it needs to be done to a metronome because I'm not going to sit there and hand place yeah. a shit ton of mi I mean, you guys might know what I'm talking about, but if you do, it's just terrible. So they didn't know how to record to a metronome. Uh -huh. And so I'm like, okay, well... This is just awful. So then I decided that uh, let's just do it live. And at this point, I'm, I'm already just kind of like, okay, you, you, you show up with shit all over your toms. Like, you have yeah. holes in them. You can't play to a metronome. So let's just record, like, the two guitarists live with the drummer. And then we'll punch in the bass and then the vocals. And it will at least be something, <laughs> yeah. right? So it's not a complete waste of time. So then I'm like, okay, let's do it. And they, I, I hit record turn off the metronome, they kind of just sit there and look at each other like... <laughs> now what? Now, do you, do you start or, or do I? And like, they literally didn't have a song written. What? They didn't have a song written. They, I'm not even kidding. They did not, like, they, the guitarist stood there and was like, do you know, like, they were getting like really awkward and kind of like getting close to each other and like kind of mumbling, like... Uh -huh. Like saying like oh what if like what if we play this and then like like they literally had what? nothing written what nothing fuck? written and, and like probably what? after five minutes they try and like fumble through this thing uh -huh. and they like they weren't good you know yeah. they they weren't good they've been probably been playing their instruments for like a month or two Jeez. like just terrible and so the the guitar starts doing this riff that's like da 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 and then the drummer starts going like do 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 and it's just like completely bad like oh off tempo gosh. like not even playing the same exact song and so uh, my buddy David who was helping me record at the time I was like okay you know what I'm gonna go outside 
and you <laughs> you guys write a song you guys trying to figure this out because i was i was actually upset at this point <laughs> understand because it's like you're wasting my time and just say you sound like periphery <laughs> and you don't even have music. and you don't even have a song written <laughs> like what is going on so i go outside and i'm sitting outside uh with like a couple of them for like 20 minutes talking trying to be nice trying not to be like yo what the what the hell is wrong with you guys right and so uh we're just talking, and then I walk back in after like 20 minutes, and I'm like, so how's it going? And then David's like, well, uh, we almost have the first verse figured out. What and I was like, that? okay, so then I went on a bike ride. <laughs> <laughs> I literally got on my bike, and I rode oh for like an hour down the road. Because I was just like, I got to get away from these, these people, and this is ridiculous. So I come back. And they have maybe 40 seconds of a song recorded. What the fuck? So I was like, guys, you need to go home. You need to go home and you need to come back when you're ready and record then because this is not something you want to put out. Yeah, this is not real. this is not good. You're like and doing it live with a drum set like that, it sounds like garbage. Yeah. It sounds so bad. So like even if they could play well, it would still sound bad. So, like, you guys need to go home and come back when you're ready. And, needless to say, they never came back. <laughs> they never, they were never like, ready. I just, uh, I just, I feel like, like that mentality is such, like, a high school thing. Like, this is book studio time. Let's just get shit done, guys. And they're, like, all talking. Like, we got the Facebook. We got all the stuff going. We got our parents' money. Like, let's, let's get much. in there. Yeah. And it's like, oh, yeah, music, right, fuck. No, uh, like, I didn't even take their money. I didn't even take their money because it was like, I mean, they were there for like probably about three hours uh -huh. trying to write a song. And I was like, I was pissed that they wasted my time. But it's right. like, I can't take your money. <laughs> I have nothing to give you. That's funny. We didn't do anything. It's like, it was fucking stupid. But yeah, so that was that was one horror story from <laughs> recording bands. That's I amazing. could probably talk about this for hours, right. to be honest. I probably have like hundreds of bad recording experiences. I just need to get drunk to remember them all. Right. That's funny as fuck, though. All right, just go for it. This is going <laughs> to be a fucking disaster. All right, no worries. Okay, so Jared's never played Overwatch before. I so. have played it. It's just been, like, a month. So, <laughs> Peel. and I didn't play Peel. much. Just... Um. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna tell my story. Uh, just don't, don't get, don't get distracted. By I, me, I okay? won't. All right, so. Uh, oh, I got someone! <laughs> I got someone! Oh fuck yes! I'm Wait, a pro. Praise Jesus! Fuck yeah! Um. Oh oh oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! You're distracted. I'm doing the thing. Don't go over there. He's a he's a turret. Oh kill kill yeah! Right. Triggers on All fire. Right. All right. Um, okay, sorry. Tell your story. Okay, so I don't remember when it was, like year wise or whatever, but I was younger. It's probably like eleven or twelve, uh -huh. I'd say. Uh, like when I was younger, my uh, parents like dropped me off at my grandma's for a couple years. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know it sounds weird, but uh, <laughs> they had a drug problem. They were like trying to figure it out, and they word. So word. I was like, oh, stay with your grandparents, I guess. No, that's cool. I got um, you. So like we went on this trip because my my grandma was like, okay, I'll take you guys and the, my cousins and stuff on a trip. So we went up to uh, somewhere by like the ocean, and we got like a. What the fuck are they called? Like a cottage, kind of? Not like a cottage, it was like a duplex. Sure. What the fuck are they? The big, tall, it's like... It's like a cottage, yeah. It's, it's like the tall ones that are like townhouses, and they're like by the beach. They're like, one of those things. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the fuck, it was that, and there was sure. like a bunch of them, so it was like a resort area, kind of. Uh -huh. And it was like, you know, half a mile from the beach and stuff, so we had like neighbor people that were like adjacent to us, and then there was like other houses that had people near it. Uh -huh. So we were there with our cousins and stuff, and... Uh, we had, I don't remember who these people were, but they were always around my grandma's like family. Like they were like a close family friend or like maybe they were part of my family, I don't really know. Sure. But they had their two kids with us and uh, the youngest one, he's, he's probably like maybe five, five or six. And he, uh, he was get, he got in trouble because he did something that he wasn't supposed to do. And like, there's, I don't remember like the adults being around like ever the whole time. It was like me, my sister, my three cousins, and then those two kids. Yeah, and sure. the kid did something and like our oldest cousin was just like, what the fuck? Like, why'd you do that? And he's just like, ah! like ah! 
<laughs> like ran into a wrong person's house. Like he ran up to the wrong door, opened it. We're like, don't go in the door. You're dead. Okay, he's dead. So everyone go home. So we're just, like he walked in this house and we're like, I don't know what to do. Like he's in there now. <laughs> we're all children. Like I'm not going in there after him. Like, oh my god. Like this kid's dead for sure. He just ran to some stranger's house. <laughs> well, it was like because it's like the townhouse thing. How there's like a door here and a door yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. He chose door number two. Oh no. And it went led to Sodomyville. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, so he ran into the wrong house, oh and we were just God. like, what do we do? Like, we lost him. Like, I'm not yeah. going in after him. Like, he's definitely just, he's in there forever. Uh -huh. And uh, we, we were just standing outside, like, outside the house, like, <laughs> plotting, like, what do we do? And then, like, right. ten minutes go by, and this dude comes out, like, holding him, and he's just like... Holding him? Yeah, he was like, had him up in the air, and he was just, like, crying hysterically, and he's just like... Is this your kid? <laughs> it's like, wait, the kid or the guy was crying? <laughs> wait, who was, who was crying? No, the guy was holding the kid. You know, the kid's just like, I got him. Right? No, I was gonna say, is the guy the guy's holding the kid? But is the guy crying no, or is the, the kid the, crying? The kid's crying. The guy's sorry. like, is this your kid? He's like, I killed him. I'm sorry. I thought he was a bug. He's dead. <laughs> No, yeah, he, the guy was holding the crying kid. Okay. And we're like, he's like, is this, does this belong to you? Like, is this your thing? And we're like, yeah, sorry. He's That's like, mine. Like, he ran in and we didn't know what to do. And he's like, oh, no worries. It's fine. I was like, okay. So we were just like, that was the p first part of it. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. the best part, there's like the follow up. It's like not even like the next day or like hours later, like five minutes later, <laughs> we're walking back to, uh, like our house area because we were in the wrong set of houses, uh -huh. obviously. And uh, he steps on this fucking like pile of thorns. <laughs> and it's, a pile of thorns. It's, they're weird. They're like little fuzzball. That things, sounds like had, an like, edgy metalcore band pile name. Of thorns. We are a pile of thorns. It was like these little ball things. There's just like cluster of them, and he stepped on it, and like every single one went in his foot. And he's just like, Jesus. He <laughs> starts fucking bawling, falls to the floor, and I'm like, okay, let me, let me get it. And I was like trying to pull him out, and he's just like. Yeah! I'm like kicking and I'm like trying to grab it and I remember he I went to pull one and he kicked into my hand oh, and so no. we, we were just like became one person <laughs> <laughs> just attached now and it's just By a thorn. Now, and I just look, look right, right in his eyes and it's just like I'm going to kill you why would you do this right. like, why have you forsaken the both of us yeah. you can alt with Y by the way okay it's like auto lock um, yeah, so he like fucked my whole day up and then I was like just grabbed his foot and was like I'm taking these out of you right. like ripped all of them out and uh, so that was fun that he was fucking everything up for me. Right. And then, uh, so this was like earlier in the day and then later it was like hot out and stuff and we were we were walking around the, the thing, the area, I think we were playing hide and seek is uh -huh. what it was. And uh, this was the most, one of the most awkward things I've ever encountered. Okay. Uh, we're walking around the corner and it's like me and my sister and our like middle-aged cousin. Uh -huh. Not middle-aged, like he's 40, but like he's like the middle <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, right, right. Uh, <laughs> he, we walk around this corner, and there's I, I gotta stand up for this. So there's this there's a side of the wall here, and there's like a faucet, you know, like comes out of the side of the house for like a hose. Sure. And there's there's just this kid with this fucking pulling his shorts down, just like under the faucet, just like hardcore, just spraying on his dick, and he's just like <laughs> end up on the wall what the fuck? like this. And then we we like all walk around the corner, and he's just like he's just spraying his dick. And we walk around the corner, and he's just like and just like sees us, and he's like. <laughs> he's like, what? Just, like, takes off. He's That's just like fun. massaging his dick on like a faucet, basically. And then he sees us and just like, <laughs> he just, just dips like, out oh, like fuck. faucet still, just go. like spring. Like you know, it's trying to get rid of the, the pubescent cock off of itself, Holy and shit. he just dips out. I didn't see him the rest of the time we were there. I don't think he left his house Jesus. area, but dude, it was so fucking awkward. Cause like, yeah, that I'm sounds with, awkward. With my sister and our other cousin, we're all just like. Who's that? <laughs> like, what the fuck was he doing? He was like, my sister's the oldest, so she's trying to explain. She's like, he, his balls were probably dirty. <laughs> she's just like, he probably just had sandy nuts. He was like, sandy I was nuts. like, I don't know if you've ever cleaned nuts off yourself, but I, I don't usually go, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> when I'm fucking cleaning just sand like off my balls. Just like using the sink to like masturbate, basically. Basically, it's like I think he's using the pressure of it to just like Jesus. massage his cock. Fuck, yeah, I have, I've died probably like thirty times. You can check. You hit select. I don't want to. Hold it. 13 times. Okay, it was close. <laughs> you got well, you had gold in something, though. You got gold damage done. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, shit. I am a master of this you game. You are the guy. I, Look at that. So, I didn't want to say anything, but when I was doing the thing, I hit myself in the nut really hard. Oh, and no. Like, still hurting. Oh, no. Where's your faucet? <laughs> right, it's, like, it's over there. <laughs> I need to clean myself off. But, yeah, oh, that man. was uh, a fun fun trip. Oh, there was one more thing, too, that happened. The other girl that was there with the annoying kid that was just in trouble all the time. Uh, yeah. I used, uh, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I was fucking amazing at it. Uh, <laughs> one tournament, so we do. Uh, 
and the, the younger girl, she was like into Yu-Gi-Oh too. So we're like, we were like dueling yeah. and uh, they were like making dinner and stuff. And then like, we're like, oh, the food's done. And we're like, oh, okay, so, so like we went up to make our table or our plates and our cards were still sitting there. You know, like we were like in mid fight yeah. and we came back and my aunt had picked up all of the cards and put them together in a pile Jeez. and we didn't have sleeves on any of them. So she just mixed both of our decks together and like all of our cards. And I was just like, what? <laughs> why, why would you do that? She's like, well, well, I was just picking up the cards. I was like, you're not, it was, you were split. They were like, those were hers and these were mine. And she right. had bad cards, I had good cards. You're going to make me lose my cards. Right. And she's like, I, she's, it had no importance to her. She's like, I don't even, right. just I'm not, I don't even kind of know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, to me, I'm just like, my whole, my trip is ruined. It's right. a game over for me. Jesus. And then, so I had to sit, we had to sit there for like the next two hours, like, was this your card? And I think I gave her some of my cards just because I felt bad because she was yeah. like, is this mine? I was like, I don't, I don't know. Right. I don't want to be rude and like accidentally steal your cards. So they're all mine. I was like, you can They're all mine. Mine are better. <laughs> right? They're all, every one of them, every good one is mine. Right. Yeah, it was pretty. Oh, I killed someone. Watch out Fuck. for the, yeah, he, Damn it. he martyrdoms when he dies, he drops bombs. Word. So watch out for Junkie. But yeah, so that was a fun family trip. Um, Sounds exciting. I don't know what we did. Oh, dude, oh my God. Hold on, one more thing. I totally forgot about what? on that trip. Oh, uh, yes. We should this save this for, an, is it going to be a longer one? No, it's a quick one. Okay. Um. So the end part of this, the fucking highlight. I can't believe I forgot. I thought it was like a different trip. Uh -huh. So, you know, my my aunt and stuff was there. Look out for that. Uh, my aunt and my you know cousins and stuff. We were uh -huh. we were on the beach part and we were all hanging out. And my cousins are very like white bread. Like by the book, you're going to college. You're doing this. Dinner's at this time. Like do not stray from this path. Yeah. And uh, my oldest cousin was he's like really into soccer and they were playing soccer and uh, he kicked the ball and it hit our aunt so like his mom and she like just like lost her mind and was like you get he's like come here and he's like you he didn't know what to do and she's like get over here and he's like huh. and she like starts like running after him and he's just like Holy starts shit. like just like running away and she's like you know obviously not gonna catch him and he's just yeah she's literally just chasing him screaming like and he's just like in this panic mode where he's just like not saying anything he has no emotion on his face so he's just running for his life Holy just shit. like don't let mom catch you she's gonna kill you right. and she's just screaming like Wah! <laughs> like running after him Jesus. and this happened for like five minutes and mind you we're all just sitting there like watching this happen just like like what, what nobody said anything. her husband was like right there and he's just like this happens all the time like, my son this is, is normal. pretty fast That's yeah pretty cool. good job blake good job we're going to college pal that's funny. yeah it was that was the like the end of the the trip so that was was a fun way to end it yeah and we lost don't throw me in there <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Story Gaming. If you want to see more, hit that like button. Smash it. Leave a comment Break and subscribe. It. And we will see you in the next video. Okay.